Bob's Bob and Beeble, welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you are all doing well today, man, and welcome back to Chelsea News, the show where I go through football news media regarding Chelsea Football Club, consolidate the biggest headlines, and present it to you guys, the viewer here on Football Therapy. And today, we're going to be talking about proposed contract extensions, important ones, an ongoing contract negotiation, which would be incredibly important to get over the line. Frank Lampard has not given up on Dries Mertens yet, even though it might seem a better option for Dries to go to Inter Milan. And Chelsea apparently have not contacted Dortmund regarding Jadon Sancho since last January, the winter break. Man United apparently have coming on strong since then. As we know, they're all over the news regarding buying Sancho. But are Chelsea completely out of it? And should they be? completely out of it. So lots to talk about today and big important things that could sculpt the future of Chelsea Football Club moving into next season and beyond. <laughs> If you like keeping updated on Chelsea football news and indeed other football stuff, why not subscribe to Football Therapy? Make sure you hit that bell notifications icon if you do indeed want to subscribe to this channel. And if you want to help me out, why not like the video, guys? It does help me out a little bit. All right, let's get into the content. First off, shout out to the return of football. I, like many of you, probably watched the Dortmund versus Schalke game. A very peculiar spectacle indeed because no crowd atmosphere sphere etc and also the social distancing on the bench that was mental but important I really enjoyed it if you're watching Bundesliga and you want to join in with me watching on watch alongs go subscribe to Jan's Yard link in top of the description we watch the games together and talk about it it's a load of fun see you there right let's talk about contract renewals first off Tino Andrin. Chelsea are apparently looking to announce the contract renewal of the young teenage sensation soon. Tino is a young player with a big frame and a technical ability with two twinkle toe feet. Basically, for his build, he's a very technical player. Exciting, like Ruben Loftus-Cheek in many ways, but plays further up than him. More of a number 10 slash wide forward. Ruben Loftus-Cheek is very much a central midfielder. Very, very exciting to see him commit his long-term future to Chelsea. I'll do more on him as, like, you know, more stories progress, but he's an excellent player. You know, don't, don't sleep on this one. He's going to be a massive player for Chelsea in the future. Another one of the contract renewals that are soon to be announced, so say if goal dot com, is Olivier Giroud. Now, obviously that's huge for Chelsea going into this sort of extended campaign, but also, if he is to leave when the window opens, Chelsea can get a bit of money for Giroud, which is important because clubs will pay a bit of money for a World Cup winner, even at his age. So another really important extension to be announced, hopefully when Chelsea get their house in order a little bit more, we'll start hearing these positive pieces of news surface. And yeah, we move. Next up, Tammy Abraham. Chelsea is still working hard to negotiate a renewal with Tammy. Obviously it's difficult in lockdown, but the line of communication is open between club and player. Now, regardless to your opinion on Tammy Abraham, and when I say that I mean like, you might think he should be Chelsea's number nine, you might think he should be a rotational striker, one thing's for sure that everyone should be unified on is he needs his long-term future tied down to Chelsea. He loves Chelsea, he is a good striker. I personally believe he can be Chelsea's number nine. I think he's done very well this season and I think he will get better, which makes him a very viable candidate to be Chelsea's number nine for a long, long time indeed. But you can be forgiven for wanting him to be a rotational striker for someone a little bit more cultured, seasoned and proven. Fair enough, I get that. But one thing everyone should agree on is his long-term future needs to be tied down to Chelsea Football Club. He's too valuable to have anything otherwise. Basically, you know, he's proven he can score goals in English football and the Premier League. But he can do it. We've seen him do it. He's going to get better. We need him to be happy. We need him on a long-term deal. He's already said the 180k a week thing was a, a nonsense. So we, I'm sure a deal could get over the line for not incredible money. We'll have to see. So that's Tammy Abraham. Hopefully a deal can be struck soon and be announced by Chelsea Football Club. Let's move on. Dries Mertens. Frank Lampard has not given up on Dries Mertens. If you've watched my recent videos, well, if you watch my videos generally, you will know I'm a huge fan of Dries Mertens and I would love him at Chelsea Football Club for a bunch of different reasons. He's a great character, he's a great footballer, he's a versatile forward, he can play up front and on the wing, and obviously being a senior player, he can offer so much to younger players, whether you're a striker 
or a winger. Now, it would be a free Dries Mertens this summer, but he's been offered a great deal, a great package at Inter Milan to play with Antonio Conte and, you know, national teammate uh, Romelu Lukaku. It makes more sense maybe for Dries to go there, but Frank Lampard has not given up. Christophe Terrer, the Belgian journalist close to Belgian players, has tweeted this, talking about how Mertens is sort of stuck in a position where he's thinking, trying to decide between Antonio Conte and Frank Lampard. Hopefully Frank Lampard's still <laughs> getting him on the blower, trying to get him to come. He would sort of be a replacement for Willian, Pedro, but he could play up front. He would be a really useful player to get, actually. Hopefully Chelsea would offer him two years deal, because although that's breaking the rules in terms of post-30 contract, he, I mean, you, you'd still be saving money because he, he doesn't cost anything in terms of a transfer fee. So it makes sense. I would really like him. I get why not everyone wants him. It's like a personal thing for me. I just think he's an excellent player. But we'll have to see what happens. And to be honest, man, I wouldn't be overly surprised if he does end up at Inter Milan. But I'll keep you posted here on Football Therapy. So make sure you visit this channel every single day. You know, because I upload every day. Right, let's talk about Jaden Sancho. First and foremost, like all of us, well, not me because I shaved my slap head, the guy needs a trim. If you saw him come on there against Schalke, dude is looking scruffy. <laughs> I mean, we can all be forgiven in lockdown, right? Now, it's come out in football media that Chelsea have not actually made an approach to Dortmund for Sancho since January. And Manchester United have been coming in hard for Jadon Sancho. They've been contacting the club, Dortmund, his agent, representatives, everyone, quite a lot, ever since they put in the interest. Manchester United really want to seal this, and they are, of course, still favourites to do so. Now, there are other news stories going around football media saying Chelsea would be financially equipped to make the Jadon Sancho transfer by selling the likes of Tomori Bakayoko and, of course, Alvaro Morata, who Atletico Madrid have an obligation to buy after his loan. So there's a decent amount coming into Chelsea Football Club that they could perhaps acquire Jadon Sancho. But should they acquire Jadon Sancho? Of course, he is a baller. We all know that. Of course, he's a Chelsea fan. He's mates with the Chelsea players. We all know that. But the truth is, in a really tight financial climate where every club is going to be super tight for cash for so many reasons, so many reasons after this pandemic, do you spend 100 million on a player that you just don't really need? Manchester United are desperate for a right winger. They have been for years and years and years. They play a brand of football similar to Dortmund, a devastating counter-attack, and they have a glaring hole at right wing. That is just screaming out for Jadon Sancho. What's Chelsea's right wing doing? Well, they've just bought Hakim Ziyech, who's an excellent player who's going to be playing on the right wing. What else? If Pulisic can play on the right wing, Hudson Adoy can play on the right wing. It doesn't really make sense for Chelsea to blow all that money that this, you know, when they're so tight at the moment on this player. And similarly, it doesn't really make sense for the player to come to Chelsea for those reasons. If he has his heart set on Chelsea regardless, and he just, you know, hopes the rest of the sort of technical stuff will figure itself out, great, we'll have him, he's superb. But really, Chelsea fans, you need to look at it the way I've looked at it and ask yourself, does it make sense for Chelsea Football Club to buy James Sancho? Probably not. Does it make sense for United to? Absolutely. He suits the play style. They've got a position, you know, like I said, a glaring hole in said position that he would fill. You know, you just got to be objective about it. Don't get me wrong. If he turns up at Chelsea, I'm going to be super, super stoked. Really high profile player. Excellent. Give him the number 10 off Willian. Do you know what I mean? Like maybe over Ziyech. <laughs> Just do it. He's going to be excellent. Um, he'll score goals and assist regardless. Even, you know, if he, we need to figure out a way how he can play Chelsea's football, he'll find a way. He's excellent. But really, if it wasn't like a pandemic and like a mental financial times, sure, go all in. But in the meantime, if you're going to be really tight, spend this money on a left back. Spend this money on a striker to help Tammy Abraham. Do you know what I mean? Spend this money on a centre half if you really think Chelsea need to sort out their defence. They need to sort out their defence more than they need a right winger. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Hell, if Frank Lampard has his heart set on a new goalkeeper, spend this money on a new goalkeeper. Don't spend this money on a position that's not a problem position. 
I'm not hating on the potential signing, I would love it. I'm just being rational for my football club. Anyway, I wanna get your guys' thoughts and opinions on everything I've spoken about in today's video. Contract renewals, Tino Andrew and Olivier Giroud, getting Tammy Abraham onto a long-term deal, should he be our starting striker? Where do you stand on Dries Mertens? Do you think he could still end up at Chelsea? And most importantly, get down in the comment section below and express your thoughts on Jaden Sancho's transfer. What do you think? And get, show you're working as well. Tell me your reasons. If you've enjoyed the video today, please do subscribe to Football Therapy. Like the video. If you want to watch Bundesliga games with me, go subscribe to Jens Yard. Like I said, link is in the top of the description below. And you can follow me on social media as well, at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, you lot. Enjoy the football that is happening now in Germany, and I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.